All right, let's create uh, a tutorial on parallel blend. Okay, for parallel blend, we'll use this shapes tool. Basically, use uh, this one bend. Okay, if you pause for a while, it will tell you what it does. So create three dimensional geometry by blending at least two dimensional sections that are parallel to each other or that are projected on parallel surface. So I'm going to select the frontal view. OK, that's fine. I will pick the right side view. I'll create planes that are at a distance, let's say, 400 at 400 in parallel. So I will create another line, let's say 500 at three different distances, OK? like. DTM1, DTM2, DTM3, okay, which is parallel to the right side. Now, for parallel blend, I need to make sections and blend them, okay? So, first, let me select one of this plane, make a sketch. Let's say I make a rectangle, okay? And let me say like this, okay? I'm not going to fully define our stuff, okay? Just it has this rectangle, okay? I'll make all my sections. I want rectangle. Let me select DTM1. Let me make a sketch like a small rectangle, okay? Like this, thinner one, okay? Like this. So one rectangle, another one, so one sketch, another sketch. Okay, let's say here I have uh, some circle or okay, circle or ellipse or something. Okay, so pick this left click sketch. Let me make circle. Okay, circle here and this. Now I would like to blend combine this section with this parallel. Okay. So what you do is basically you go to blend, okay? So now you pick this, it's already selected section one, and you will see this window, okay? The blend ribbon, uh, blend a solid sketched section or selected sketch. So I will select selected sketch, okay? Confirm. I'll hit that, okay, and select, okay, selected sketch, in which I already created, and this shows the direction, okay. Now, if I click this section, I can insert the second blend, okay, which is this one, okay. Now, this arrow is the blending. It starts from here and blend here. So, if you move around the arrows, you can change the starting point, okay? Drag and move it, okay? Now I will keep like that and then hit OK. And then it says failed to create. So you will see red things like this, okay? That's a failure. So I edit, the reason is that if you see here, section one has, section one has two end points, section two has four, so in, they are not equal, okay? So we need equal vertex, okay? So that's why it's failed. So the requirement for blend is that you need equal, equal segment, okay? Equal vertex. Now let's see the blend, because this is rectangle, this is rectangle. So if I hit blend, and select section this and select uh, and then insert and this so it will create a big big rectangle to this one and the direction it's not twisted if i bring the dragger you see it's twisted okay that's not what i want but i would like them not to twist so i will drag the pointer to the correct direction so that the starting is the same, okay? 
as you can see here this has section one has force corner for two has four okay that's why it creates uh, the blend so combine two different sections that are in parallel plane okay now i need to to blend from here to here i need to divide the circuit into two okay into four segments so i will select that edit add the definition i make it normal and then i'll divide okay using editing tools i will divide this arc into four segments okay approximately so that they combine with this line here 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 okay so now i have four segments you can define those later okay i'm just doing random now but you need four corners okay that's it so i divide this line now i can blend it okay now i will go back right click edit now in the section i will um, insert section and i will select left click this okay so now they are twisting i don't want that so i will drag the mouse so that change the direction and i will align them okay now now it's nicely the starting point the start from this is blending with this the starting point okay then as you can see all of them they have the same um, vertex so then i click okay that's it so this is the 3d model that has different cross section okay right that's it that's about all about parallel blend the important thing is that you need to have a cross section with equal uh, segment okay great okay this is Creo 7 thanks everyone